Welcome back. Time now for a full look at weather with our Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist, Dan Sianka. Dan, I still cannot believe it is the final day of March and tomorrow begins a, a new era. I yeah. like to call April. Yeah. Oh, well, I was, was going to quote a uh, song from, I don't know what the band is called. It's the one with the frosted haired Justin Timberlake in it. But he's like, oh, it's yes. going to be April. <laughs> Love that song. Yeah, it's a great one. That's the one, right? Yes. Sounds right. Something like that. But yeah, tomorrow that's happening, I guess. So say goodbye to March. Went out like a lion, probably, and in like a lion, too. It's been a lionish March, I think. Let's get yeah. to the graphics. And uh, we got butterflies. We've gone all through the animal kingdom in this discussion now. Uh, this is a look ahead to our April averages since we're going into a new month. Um, you know, I, I like to think of April as our transitional month as we go from the rainy season to the dry season. So rain starts to fall off quite a bit. We still get some. We usually get a couple weather systems that bring some rain through the region. And even in May, we usually get maybe one or two systems. But April's kind of that, okay, we're almost done with the rainy season month and uh, that's reflected in the average monthly precipitation for these various cities. Some areas don't normally even get an inch of rain during the month of April and some areas like Santa Cruz do get about two inches. But we're warming up obviously highs in the 60s and 70s on any given day. Lows still in the mid 40s but just not quite as chilly and as we head through the first full week of April, well, we have a little of everything for you. So let's get into it in the forecast today. Showers and thunderstorms over the inland mountains, but they stayed pretty far away from the coast. We stayed pretty dry for most locations, but some areas got hit with hail and heavy rain. You just had to be pretty much on the eastern edge of the KIOWN coverage area. It's still uh, being directed by this area of low pressure off to the south. That's what brought us precipitation over the last couple of days. It's on its way out, though. We still see plenty of lightning. Uh, near San Diego late tonight, but the stretching out the view, we have high pressure off to the west, and that's going to sit over us for the next couple of days and send those temperatures upward. Nice warm weather for the next couple of days. We've been enduring some chilly temperatures as of late, but it won't be chilly here over the next couple of days. You'll have some warmth to talk about, but that will be short lived because we're going to head right back into an unsettled weather pattern after midweek. We'll talk about that in a moment. Temps out there tonight, mostly in the 50s around the Bay and in the valleys. We're in the 40s up in the hills for most locations. So mild out there tonight for the most part. Partly cloudy skies, still a few showers over the hills. Those will slowly come to an end and will be dry for the rest of the overnight hours. And patchy fog is possible in the valleys tomorrow morning. But we'll start off the day partly cloudy and we'll end it mostly sunny. It's going to be a really nice afternoon. Temperatures dipping into the mid 40s for most coastal cities. Destination highs in the mid to upper 60s tomorrow looking pretty nice. Here's future track and this is going to show most of those clouds kind of filtering out overnight, but some possibly hanging around to the valleys in the form of some fog tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll see some puffy clouds over the hills. They won't be as tall as they were today. Flatter cumulus clouds tomorrow afternoon, but they might look like little cauliflower heads here or there. Uh, that's about it as far as the sky is concerned. Look, it's pretty nice tomorrow. Temperatures will be reflected of the increased amount of sunshine and the warming air mass as well. And that's going to send us close to 70 degrees in some of our Santa Cruz Mountain Valley locations. Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, you're right in there. Almost 70 in Felton and Scotts Valley. Up the top of the hill, mid-60s tomorrow. Now, we will keep a light onshore breeze on the coast, which will keep temperatures moderated in Santa Cruz and Capitola. So you're not hitting into the 70s tomorrow, but it'll be comfortable at least. Mid-60s on the east shore of the Bay, warming a little bit as we head inland. We'll find some 70s in our northern valleys. Gilroy could be the hot spot tomorrow, 72. You were at 67 today, which was pretty warm. Mid 60s, Monterey and Seaside, just a touch cooler out to the points, but a pretty stellar day on the peninsula, although today was pretty nice too. It'll be even nicer tomorrow. Down south, 70s in the Salinas Valley. Good news, guys. Maxwell Glenn just walked into the room, so that means sports is happening soon. Uh, highs in the upper 60s outside of the Salinas Valley, but looking pretty nice out there, and uh, it should be a really good one over the next couple of days. Even warmer on Tuesday on the coast, highs above normal, and then, oh boy, things change again. We have a dry cold front initially on Wednesday. That will turn the winds back to the northwest. They'll come through with a bluster, cool us down, initially dry. A low will come down the coast and wrap some showers in Thursday and Friday. Now it looks like we might have some instability again. Look at those high temperatures though, mid 50s, burr on the coast. That's uh, you know at least 10 degrees below normal for most cities. Uh, showers, maybe even some thunderstorms. Showers could last into the weekend. We've not had great luck with our weekends lately. Um, and as we look at our inland forecast as well, you're jumping up as well. Highs well above normal on Tuesday. And then that crashing halt to the warming trend on Wednesday. 
We'll be watching as we head into the end of the week. More stormy weather possible, even some mountain snow with those cold temperatures. A little of everything, as I mentioned, as we go through that first week of April. Back to you. Yeah, there's that saying, you know, April showers bring May flowers or I've heard that. something like that. Yeah. Definitely quite a start to the I think that was April. the Backstreet Boys that said yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Justin Timberlake, the yeah. frosty tip guy. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dan.